I never quite get it right, but no point in arguing about Jerry with a G or Jerry with a J. <laughs> Some people argue about everything. I've seen over the last few weeks people at like securities and passport control lose their shit at the people. Such a bad plan. Such there's no upside. Um, anyway, I am at the airport. I'm about to fly out back to Johannesburg. I'm in Amsterdam. Uh, it's been an amazing trip. So last night I spent in Amsterdam just as a layover on the way back. Had a bit of a walk around, pretty cool. Uh, some street photography with a phone. Before then, Chicago, very productive. Great catching up with all you guys. Look forward to all the trips we spoke about. Good stuff. Uh, back there in October for some presentations and workshops. Stay tuned for that, can't wait. That's what I'm gonna be working on now when I get back. Uh, and Svalbard was just, I'll do full trip report on the Wild Eye channel when I'm back. It was amazing. Amazing. Uh, loads of, always the case with travel, loads of thoughts, context, uh, ideas, change, future, perspective, life, coaching, so much, so much. So I've got a, quite an extensive list of ideas and topics and thought, pieces of food for thought that I want to explore down the line. Uh, but yeah, for now, I am going to try on, on my flight. I hate day flights. It's weird because I want to get on the flight, my headphones on, sleep. Oh, we're going to talk about headphones and noise cancelling in future, maybe soon, because the babies, flights, different story, moving on. But um, I found something that works. But yeah, so day flights. So I'll probably put my Lightroom catalog up from Svalbard. I downloaded it, I haven't checked yet really, and I'll just clean it up with some music. But I want to go into a flight, fall asleep and be there. Not this day of flight, it's weird. Anyway, but yesterday, so I arrived in Amsterdam yesterday, right? So, so I've just been watching, there's a couple of people over there, a couple and their kid, and they just had a full-blown domestic, but like, full-blown, and the daughter's all embarrassed, she's dropping her head, and they're shouting at each other, it's amazing. Travel, they said, it would be fun, they said. <laughs> um, anyway, so I get here yesterday to Amsterdam. I checked my luggage in at Chicago. Now this is a bright red North Face duffel. You can't miss this fucking thing, right? And it goes through Stockholm and into Amsterdam. I get it here, my ticket says so, and I would recheck it. It didn't arrive. So I go to them and there's apparently some, I don't know if it's a strike or just less workers or it's slow, but no, I just wait. So I, I waited at the, at the turnstile, at the, what's it called? The luggage belt for like an hour. No shit, an hour. And then one bag comes out and one bag. So I go back to them and I say, listen, no, help me out here. So they check on my ticket code thing. It is in the airport somewhere, but we don't know where. Well, then, then it doesn't help. So apparently it could have gone to the transfer side, then they'll rescan it, it'll come back to belt 11. Never came to belt 11. I spent probably an hour and 42 minutes at belt 11, nothing. So then I go back to them and say, okay, now what? Because I'm traveling this morning. No, so what they'll do is you change my ticket, upgraded the tech number or whatever that is, so that if they find it, they'll put it on the flight. Okay, when can I find out? No, at the gate, when I board. Oh, Jesus. So when I get to the gate now, I've got to go and see if my bag's on the, fli on the flight, which I really hope it is, because everything's in all my Arctic gear, all my specialist stuff, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, and if it's not, I couldn't open a report here, because if I open a report here, then if they find it, when they find it, they send it here. I have to open a report from that side if it's not there. So then I had to go out last night, obviously, and I needed to get, I needed to get some toothpaste, um, shower, obviously, the hotel was sorted, but also then it got cold. So then it got cold a little bit when I was walking around and I didn't have anything else with me. Literally, I had a t-shirt because Chicago was nice and hot. So um, I had to go and find the cheapest hoodie that I can. Yoda, it's a Yoda hoodie. Yoda is the goat. So it was the cheapest hoodie I could find, but it's actually quite cool. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna quickly finish this up. I'm gonna finish my coffee or Jerry's coffee, right? And then head to the flight, get some work done, not sleep, and then sleep tonight. I've been managing the time zones pretty well, uh, I think. Tired, but you are getting there. There's a new feature on the Garmin app 
where it apparently helps you out with that, but it hasn't done much for me yet. So, anyway, um, be in touch. Uh, tomorrow, I probably get to recovery day at home. I was about to say I'll do washing, but that's if my bag's there. But uh, that's it. So, I'll chat to you guys soon. And um, yeah, lots of cool stuff coming up. Videos on like Photoshop AI. Have you guys seen that? Holy shit. Weird stuff going on, man. But anyway, I'm gonna get going, uh, finish my coffee, and then hopefully be told my bag is on the same flight to Johannesburg. I'm gonna go by.